Long before the likes of Keeble Cat and Doug the Pug became famous, there was one animal that gained such international fame, she was like the Kim Kardashian of celebrity beasts. That animal was a rhino and she was called Miss Clara. Back in the 1700s, the vast majority of people couldn't read, didn't travel far, and zoos like we know them today didn't exist. Instead, animal collections in Europe were mainly owned by the aristocracy. It wasn't until 1752 did we even see the start of the establishment of animal collections in a zoological setting, with the founding of the Tiergarten Schonenbrunn in Vienna. Apologies for my pronunciation. That meant for the average person to see exotic animals, they would need to gain that knowledge from images in books although the vast majority of people at the time had limited access to these. And even if they did have access to books, the animals featured may not have been accurate interpretations of how they really looked. However, in 1741, a retired sea captain called Dalvi Mount van der Meer brought a rhinoceros to Rotterdam and Clara immediately fascinated the locals. Clara had been born in India and was orphaned as a calf and adopted by the sea captain as a pet. When Clara came over to Rotterdam, this spelled the start of a mammoth tour of Europe. She traveled around in a wooden carriage that was pulled by eight horses. And to avoid Clara's skin from drying out, she was often rubbed in fish oil and was said to be as tame as a lamb. Such was the interest in Clara, she became the subject of great sculpture and two-dimensional images. Over a period of 17 years, she had travelled major cities of Europe, and Clara was viewed by kings, queens, courtiers and commoners, even living a short period of time at the menagerie of King Louis XV's court. Clara was adored, yet exploited for entertainment and by 1758 she made what would be her last journey when she came to London and shortly after died. However, Clara's memory and her amazing travels remain the stuff of legend.